This is the first time I've ever done an interview or anything on camera of me talking. Everyone's gonna know my voice now. <laughs> He's got a lot of control. Powerful too, but I don't even want to say like words like that to be cliche. He's just, he's fucking Nick, dude. I really like that guy. He's smooth, but also uh, he's not um, trying to take it easy. On his board, he's effortless and like consistent. I think Nick can kind of skate anything. Nick's gotten really good, really fast. Bigger airs, longer grinds. You take him anywhere and he'll find something to do and a way to make it look, kind of makes it all look pretty easy for him. He's one of those guys that's like, you can't show how good he is through a camera's lens. You have to see him in person. It's also something like very calm and like, it's not that crazy explosiveness that some skaters have. It just seems very just comfortable. And he's skated since he was like two years old, so that makes sense. I'm Nick Michael, and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. I live in Los Angeles now. I got into skating through my dad because he skated when I was about three years old, he got me a board. He just taught me all the right things early on. I feel like he never pushed it. He just would take me out skating and it was so much fun. And I'm, I'm thankful that it went that way instead of like a skate coach, dad kind of way, which I fucking hate. <laughs> I've looked up to Chris Millick for a really long time. He's one of my favorite skaters and someone who changed the way I looked at skateboarding and probably did the same for so many other people, you know? So right away when he started Frog, I was, I was already a fan. I'm from Arizona and there's a skate crew in Las Vegas. They had a really cool scene over there and it was like, Robert Blazik and Crazy Frankie and Nick Michael and some other kids and they're all like really good skaters and Daniel Dent was filming everything. That's the first time I heard about Nick was through a skate video called Snot Job. Then I started my own brand like a year after and I was randomly skating with Crazy Frankie from the same crew. Kind of just started giving Frankie boards. I asked Nick to ride for Frog at the same time and Nick said no, Frankie said yes. He kind of like would ask me here and there like every time I'd see him throughout the course of like a year or two and I, I kind of just kept telling him no. Frog kind of started getting bigger and I think Nick was like, oh, I want to skate more with like Frankie too. Like he screwed up skating with Frankie. And we just talked about it and he's like, I'm going to ride for Frog and I was like, awesome. I met Nick through Jesse Alba, and then when I had opened a shop, he had come to LA to skate, and we just met through that. Nick wouldn't say this about himself, but it's like we knew who he was. Even seeing one clip, you're like, oh, this kid's different than other skateboarders. The Must Be Stopped video from Lottie's, that was kind of like my first thing that people saw of me, not in Las Vegas. Lottie's Must Be Stopped, and when it came out, I was like pretty blown away. He's like kind of in that niche of super creative guys, but not only that, like he does crazy shit too. Moving forward from there, everyone started to take notice. So about two months ago, I moved to Glassell Park in Los Angeles. I was already visiting so much from Vegas. It felt perfect, you know, I just needed to be here. I feel like all my best friends from Vegas live here now, so I'm really happy. Don't waste your good moves, dude. He's gonna rip this thing in half. Kick my lens, actually. <laughs> it's like everyone kind of in this crew like kind of does things the way they want to do them, and I think Chris notices that in people. So like, you see a lot of good skating, but you're like, you get numb to it. And like watching Lou skate like a vert ramp or watching Nick skate anything, you're kind of just constantly like in awe. And I think there's something it's like intangible. He's got a really good head on his shoulders. He's humble, you know, and it's just with that attitude and that personality, people like that, you know? It's easy to get along with somebody like that. It's really cool seeing a kid that doesn't talk about himself a bunch, doesn't big up himself every time, he doesn't cheer for himself. I mean, that's seriously becoming more and more rare.
I don't think there's too much to decipher about frog. It, honestly, it's kind of just a, a joke, a joke that's gone too far. <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. Frog, it's just, it's just all of us, and it's Chris, and it's his artwork, and... It's like skateboarding with a lot of love. Not who's the gnarliest or the most badass <laughs> or something. It's not the coolest thing either. It's just like, everybody really likes skateboarding on the team. <laughs>